Why are you out here today? Tell us about what's going on. I'm here supporting the uh, casino in New York City. Black and brown people have been in and out the casinos in America. Um, and it's finally time that somebody has ownership. And I trust in Jay-Z to bring a premium, the greatest casino in the world right here to New York City. Now what does that mean? Finally you have somebody in ownership that looks like you, that comes from where you come from. Um, that's gonna hire our people as well as everybody else. We welcome everybody else. But, um, and that's what this is all about, giving back jobs, taking care of the people in the arts, who's been mistreated over there, uh, where the plays are. You know, the same people own that play road for 150 years. So they don't want to see change. It's a monopoly. They don't want to see change. So, you know, this, this is threatening to them. They've been eating there for 150 years. So it's time we open, you know, an elite premium casino that looks like it reflects the diversity of New York City and America. You know, when COVID happened, everybody ran away. And so that's the time where Jay-Z brainstormed and said, no, we're going to bring New York City back. We're going to bring the biggest casino here. And if, if you can just see, well, when he has an event in Atlantic City, every Tom Brady, every Kim Kardashian, every this, do you know what that casino is going to look like in Times Square? Right. It's going to be the spot to be at in America. And also, given hundreds of jobs away, maybe thousands of jobs away. And so, for me, it's a no-brainer. But the time of us working for everybody else is over. It's time to have ownership right. and equity. So how close are we to seeing this? How likely do you think this man, is? We're here, man, give, give, us, give us, first of all, we never play to lose. That's the first thing. We just, we just don't, it's not in our DNA. You know, so we never give up, we never play to lose. So we here to win. So maybe we're crazy, but we think we're gonna get it. I know you met up with Jada. Mm -hmm. What was that like? Were you surprised? That was amazing. Okay. She came to the store in the Bronx. I gifted her the sneakers. Uh, I learned some stuff. I just posted right now on my Instagram. She told me uh, that she never was a thing with Tupac, right? Let me tell you something. In regards to Jada, in regards to Fat Joe, in regards to anybody who's had a pretty amazing life, who's been on the earth for a long time, before social media, most people haven't had these type of lives or lifestyles, so they can't relate. So when you get your legends to start trying to tell you the real stories of their life so that they can uh, put it out there for you, you, everything's cat, yo, they lying, yo, yo, how about it might be true, right? And I, and I, I think to, I believe it's true. Right, you know, right, right, right. so you know the woman is, is telling her truth and she's leaving back, you know, we all in, in, in on earth once and she's leaving documentation of what she believes to be her life. So right. take it for what it is. And you know, everybody's in the bunch, but you know, we love Will and Jada. And she says they're not broken up, they're back together, right, stronger that, together. Right, right. And she said ever since the slap incident, you know, they've been tighter, they brought them back together. You know, and my wife's the same. She like a gangster. <laughs> she likes a gangster. 